Hey guys, just wanted to show you this cool little jig I just built. Um, it's basically uh, a neck jig for getting our neck profiles. I've been doing it with a Shinto rasp and sandpaper for so long and you can never get an absolute perfect match for two necks. At least I can't. Uh, I'm not a neck guru, I guess. But uh, so I made this little jig here today and um, let me show you how it works. It's pretty cool. Um, put the phone right here. So first thing I do is I grab a shim, uh, which is just a one by two, same thing that we usually use to make our fretboards. I'll put it down, and then what I'll do is I take this neck and I put it in here, up, whoops, up to the stop. Make sure we're still recording here. Yep, we are, okay. So I put it up to the stop up here, and then I take a clamp, I run it over right here, and I clamp it right there, nice and tight, so that way you can't go anywhere. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I take my router, and I'll put it down here. We'll turn the router on, it's gonna get a little loud, I apologize, but uh, I, I think you guys will like this. So here we go. That side's done already, so then we'll unclamp it. And I made this jig pretty cool here to where, <laughs> sorry, to where uh, basically we just put the stop on the other side, like so. Tighten that down a little bit. Move our shim over here, pull out all the stuff so that way it's nice and sits nice and even. I'm gonna bring the shim back up here where it belongs. Okay, then I'm gonna clamp it on this side the same way I did over there. Now it's gonna get loud. Um, not much I can really do about that, I wish I could. But uh, basically, here we go, here goes the other side. This side's a little tricky for me because I can't tell which, which way I should be going first, but. <laughs> Still got all fingers, guys. I know that got a little jumpy, a little sketchy for a second, but uh, this is only the second neck I've actually played around with with this thing. Um, but if you can see this thing, I mean, I, like I said, I still got to put a couple stops in so that way I can stop it absolutely perfect in the same spot on different necks. But this thing just, I mean, what a time saver. And it is just, to me, I think that feels perfect. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that video and uh, just uh, keep on sharing your stuff. Thanks.